Hi, DataBan here. Today we're going to look at creating dynamic pictures based upon a drop-down in Excel. For example, we have a pet store here and we have the choice of four different pets. Cat, dog, hamster and fish. If I choose one of these different options, you'll see that the picture next to the drop-down updates automatically to show the animal in question. Let's see how we create this. First, go to a new worksheet. I've called this one Icons and go to insert in the ribbon toolbar and then the drop down of illustrations and then pictures and then picture from file. And you want to have downloaded some icons that you want to use. In this case, I have an icon for cat, dog, goldfish and hamster. So first we're going to insert the cat icon and we're going to insert it into cell A1 here. So you'll see that this picture is far too large, so we'll just reduce the size of the picture. And you want it to uh, fit inside the cell exactly. So just resize the cell so that the picture fits inside, and then do the same thing in the next cell with insert, pictures, picture from file, and do exactly the same process for the next picture, and make sure it inserts into cell B2 in this case. Okay, we have all of the pictures inserted into this worksheet. Now we want to name each cell after the name of the picture that's inside it. So you want to select the cell A1. So to clarify, you do not want to select the pictures themselves, but the cells that are behind them. So we select cell A1, and we'll call this cat. And then B1, and we'll call this dog. And then go along and rename each of the cells to match the picture that's inside of them. Next, we'll click back into the results tab and we want to create a dynamic list. So we want to choose between the four different pets. So you want to go to the data tab on the ribbon and then data validation. And under allow, you want to click list and then choose the four different or type in the four different pets that you can choose and then OK and then just check that in the drop down you can select these options. Now we want to create the dynamic picture and link it to the option that we've chosen. First you just want to insert a picture, uh, any of the four pictures will do just to begin with. So insert picture from file, in this case we'll choose the, uh, the dog and insert the picture and make sure it again fits into the into the cell. To make this picture dynamic we need to use something called the indirect formula. First go to formulas and then define name and you want to enter a new name for this named formula. We'll just call it picture and then in the select range of cells we'll do equals indirect open brackets and then click the little box and choose the drop down option that we have here in cell D2 and then close brackets and then OK. And then click on the icon that we have that currently is not dynamic, it currently doesn't change with the options that we have here. So click on the picture and you want to in the formula bar do equals picture that we've just created. And you'll see there that it shifts and updates slightly because it's now connected to the icons in the first worksheet. So if we change the options on here, you'll see that the picture changes successfully. Next, we want to clean up some of these pictures as you'll see there is a border around the picture that we don't want. To do this, click on the icons worksheet and go to view in the ribbon and then under the show dropdown you want to untick grid lines. And now if you go back to the results, you'll see that the border is removed as well. This is because as this is a dynamic formula, it's literally looking up the cell itself. And so it's also bringing in the border if there's any as well. So when we remove the border from the icons on this worksheet, it will also dis disappear on this dynamic result as well. Can you think of other ways to use dynamic pictures? Another good example would be if you had a report and you wanted to change the icon for each division in the business, 
you could change the icon dynamically and update the reports and charts and the icons all at the same time. Let me know if this has been helpful to you. Like and subscribe. Thanks.